Hey folks, Adam Dukes here. Welcome to this brand new video series. It's going to be 25 videos over the course of the next six or so weeks on how to build sales funnels, how to set up lead magnets, how to set up landing pages, how to sell digital products, how to sell memberships, subscriptions, creating your own affiliate program, hosting videos, all within one single tool, one simple tool, I should say, system.io. It's a tool that I've been using for the last several months and I absolutely love it for a few reasons. It's simple to use, it's very affordable, and they have fantastic customer support. And I've used all the funnel builders on the market and by far this is the simplest one to use and without a doubt, the best customer service as well. So like I said, if you're interested in this video series on how to leverage this tool in your business to earn more money, to work more efficiently, to work less, but still earn more, make sure you subscribe down below. Click that little bell notification because it'll alert you of every time I release a new video in this training series. Also, if you'd like to check out system.io, it's a 100% free account. It's not a free trial. It's a free account. Check out the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. You'll get access to just about $600 in bonuses that I'm giving you completely for free if you sign up for system today. So if you're interested in that, check it out down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. All right, in this short training, I'm going to show you how to set up an order bump to increase your average order value when selling a digital product. Now, they have it set up a little bit different than ClickFunnels, I think different than Kartra. So when I first got started using System.io, it was a little bit of an adjustment. But now that I've used it, I think this way makes much more sense. I think Kajabi sets it up this way as well. So depending on what funnel builder you're used to, or if you've never used a funnel builder, you won't know this. But if you're coming from the ClickFunnels and or Kartra world, this is a little bit different setup. So let's dive right in. So what we're going to need to do first is we need you need to create a second product and in click funnels you can attach a product uh, an order bump but within system.io we need to create a new product so i created just a fake course and it's called confidence morning mantra that's their order bump that we're going to sell on our confidence training uh, our quick confidence uh, challenge that we're selling. So we're going to go back to our funnels. I'm going to click my QC funnel for quick confidence. What we need to do is open up the order form and we need to add in the order uh, the order bump element. So we're going to click on order form here. Click edit. All right. So here's our order form. So we're going to go over to elements and scroll down and we're going to look for order bump. This little dollar uh, dollar symbol here. We'll scroll down and what I like to do is I like to put it right below or right above the uh, purchase button. So yes, I want that. And then we'll just edit the text, get access. So what I typically like to do is save 40% off, something like that within brackets. Make sure it's a legitimate save, what, what, whatever price it is. If you're discounting it, typically you're gonna discount it for an order bump. Get instant access to my confidence mantra training. And then show, uh, highlight maybe a couple of benefits of what they're going to get with this quick confidence training. It's about waking up, practicing some type of routine, five steps, three steps to start your day confident and just kind of, it sets the pace for the rest of the day. That's kind of the idea for this confidence mantra that I came up with. So start your day fresh, start your day confidence, walk taller, smiling, start your day smiling, something along those lines. You want to highlight a couple of the benefits and just let them know they can get it. And then up here, if you say, yes, I want it. Yes, I want edit the text up here yes I want the confidence mantra training something along those lines you spell mantra right there we go and that's how you add the order bump on the order form page so now what we're going to do is save changes now we need to attach the product to this order form it's very very similar to how we attach the product in the previous video so we'll exit out of here. All right, so we're back to this page here. And then what we're going to do is scroll down all the way to the bottom. As you can see, this little plus sign at the very bottom, the button kind of blends in with it. I'm not sure why they do it like this, but add order bump. And you'll get the order bump. And we will go to resources. And it's just like the one we did up here in the previous video. Again, it's a, it's a new course. So we're going to select resource. You can do course, course bundle, tag, physical product. We're going to do course. We'll choose the course. It should be at the very bottom. Nope, let me scroll through. Confidence morning mantra. Access type, full access or drip. For this example, we'll just do full access. And then now we need to set the bump price plan right here. We don't have a price plan, so what we're gonna do is choose price. And we can do one shot subscription or payment plan. So this is just gonna be a one-time investment. Choose a price point. And we don't have a price point, so what we're gonna do is create a new one. Confidence morning mantra. 
just copy this. Again, this top one is for the back end uh, for you to see. The price plan name is gonna be used on the payment page. I will show you that in just a second. And then statement description is what shows up on their credit card or debit card statement. Type, we'll select price plan type. We'll do one shot, which is just a one-time investment. And let's say we're gonna charge $27 for this order bump. We'll click save. And let's scroll back up, we'll click save here, and we will view the order form. And now when we, if we add the order bump, it should reflect in the total price. So here is our order form here. Man, that red is bright. That was a bad color to pick. So what we're gonna do is scroll down. So as you can see, quick confidence challenge is $37. Yes, I want the confidence mantra. When I click here, it adds it here. It adds it to the order form. It's $27. Total without tax is $64. So that is how you set up an order bump. I highly, highly recommend doing it with digital products. And typically with the order bump, what you want to do is kind of sell more of what you currently sold them or what you previously sold them. So let's say you're selling them, like a great example is if you sell them one supplement on the front end, the order bump might be, or the upsell might be two bottles of supplements, three bottles of supplements. If you're selling them um, something on the front end, maybe an ebook, the order bump might be a video walkthrough of kind of what the ebook is about, but it's in video form. That's kind of what you want to, that's how you want to think of order bumps. There's a lot of different things you can do with it, but it can definitely, definitely increase your average order value. And it's all about testing. You might have to test the price. You might have to test a different product just to kind of see what works. It's, it's more of a puzzle, just to kind of put the puzzle pieces together, see what works. But you should aim for about, I'd say 20 to let's say 20 to 40% of people who purchase the front end, 20 to 40% hopefully should sh choose the order bumper. That's the range that you should aim for, or the benchmark, I should say, 20 to 40%. When you're first starting out, it's probably gonna be more like 20%, maybe even less than that. But you know if you're closer to that 40%, you're doing pretty damn good with the order bump. If you get over that, my opinion is maybe increase the price on the order bump. You know, uh, Not to say 50%, 60% is not bad, it's good conversion, but maybe increase that price a little bit and get back down to that 20 to 40% range. Again, just play with it. There's not a perfect way to do it, but definitely add order bump to your any digital products you're selling because again it's going to increase your average order value hey i hope you enjoyed the video let me know down in the comments below let me know what you thought about the video let me know what you think about the training and make sure you subscribe down to the channel and click that little bell notification because like i said i got 24 more videos of training videos of not just how to use this software but how to use it in your business and i'm going to be giving tips and tricks on marketing email automation email marketing building funnels all types of stuff so make sure you hit subscribe down below and then sign up for your free account with system adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. Like I said, you get access to uh, $598 worth of bonuses that's no cost to you. They're completely free. It'll give you instructions on what you need to do on that page down below, adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. Looking forward to putting out to this training series, hoping it helps you grow your business quickly.